Alright, welcome everybody to another Chrome Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering how to make a campfire effect. And because this is a pretty long process, um, I'm going to be cutting um, some blank spots in the video just to cut down on the video time. Uh, that basically means I'm going to be working in sections and I'm going to try and explain it as quickly as possible but as detailed. So, uh, let's get started. Basically what I have up here is um, the whole campfire effect that I have made previously split up into parts. I have the flame light which is the flickering effect, the inner core, the light flame which is the kind of like the outer core but it's just a really quick flash that you uh, you can you don't really notice the smoke and the sparks so I'm going to start working on this uh, this inner core effect so I'm going to kind of reproduce it down here and this is what I have right now yeah no material on it um basically we're going to start with the material uh, if in the prompt my project uh, window I already have the campfire smoke material already created um, I'll show you explain everything there in a second but we're going to create the inner core I'm going to drag that on there now it turns to black we need to look for flame D and here it is and here it is alright we're going to change the shader to additive and then we're going to make this a little bit darker Actually, yeah, we're just gonna, we're actually going to keep it um, pretty bright. So we need to first change the force to four, which is going to make it go up. Uh, the size grow, we're going to change this neg to negative point seven, so it shrinks not not insanely, not an insane amount, but it does shrink a uh, a good bit. Um, and up here, we're going to change the minimal size to one point five and the max uh, max size to 2. The minimal energy is going to be 0 0.6 and then the maximum is going to be 0 0.8. We're going to keep the, uh, keep the minimal and max emission um, the way they are. And we're going to change the local velocity to 4. There you go. And the random ro uh, rotation, we're going to check that and we are going to make this simulate in world space alright we're going to change this to 0.4 on the X and Z axis alright and that should be it for that effect so we're going to go into the other one now and uh, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this with control D and I'm just going to start um, changing the, the properties so we are going to name this the uh, light flame let's put a space between that R and the C and the inner core alright and we are going to make another material so we're going to call this light flame and we're going to look for flame C which is right there and we're going to change the shader to additive again. Alright. And here we go. Drag it on there. Okay. Its color is messed up. So we're going to open up the color window. And we're going to change it to. Alright. See this tool? Um, I, this pretty much uh, is like the. You know the ink pen, which is uh, whatever color it's over, and whenever you click, that's the color it will be. Uh, it will select. So I'm going to select um, a color I had previously, and these are all the um, coordinates. So if you want to copy all these down uh, in your project, this should give you the correct color. So all you have to do is you can just pause the video and figure it out. So um, I'm going to close that, and I'm going to make all these other colors exactly the same but the alpha is supposed to be uh, it's this is basically um, says how transparent the uh, texture is going to be and I'm going to make it completely transparent at the end but this one's not it's going to be a little bit less 
the beginning is supposed to be a little bit trans a uh, little bit transparent or a lot because it's just showing a little bit um and that should be it for the material and then up here at the top we're going to make the uh the uh, minimal size one we're going to make the max size 1.5 and the max energy you're going to change this to 0.6 we can leave the minimal the same all right local velocity we're going to keep the same but the random velocity we're going to change to 0.25 um, the random angular velocity is going to be 1.8 and the angular velocity is going to be let's make it 100 all right that's all good ah the size grow this needs to be um, negative 0 0.9 all right that, and that should be it for that I think I missed something in the inner core um, yeah the angular velocity um, I forgot to change this so you can just change that change it to like let's see like 250 yeah something like that 250 all right and then that's it for the second effect we're gonna move on to the sparks now and I found out that the best way to just explain to you guys how to make this is I'm just gonna tell you all the coordinates that I had for my other sparks because this will go a lot quicker um, since the sparks are so small, they can be tweaked to however you want it, but it's um, the specific effect I was going for was this, uh, they fly pretty much everywhere and then they slowly just dissolve in the wind. Um, and basically how I make the, how I know that that's what it actually looks like is because I make a lot of um, um, observations and when I was observing a fire, you know, I kind of just focused on the sparks and I realized that this is what they do. Uh, another way that you guys can just find out how to make um, realistic looking effects is just observe things in real life. Like just grab a camera and videotape effects, videotape how the water splashes, videotape the fire, videotape the steam. Um, and you can just watch that video and try to duplicate it in Unity. and you know it usually turns out really well if if you if you know what to do then it shouldn't be a problem so all right so let's get started on this here it is the the min size I just call I'll just you know use the uh, short terms min size 0 0.04 max size 0 0.06 the minimal energy is 0 max energy 1.5 this gives it uh, just enough time to I dissolve into the wind. You can change it however you want. If I change it to do to two, uh, it'll be lasting a little bit longer. But it's not exactly necessary. I'll just keep it at two, just because. All right. The local velocity is two. The random velocity on the x, y, and z axis. You're going to change that to five. All right. There's no angular velocity or random rotation. Uh, this will simulate in real world space, though. You can actually turn on random rotation if you want, but it just makes it a little bit. You know, I'll just keep it on since it looks cooler. All right, the world rotation axis on the x-axis, you're going to make it five. This is very important. Which axis you do it on, because when you don't, it sometimes gets. See, it looks like it's just twirling upwards, and I tweak the effects so that it doesn't look like it's always rotating one direction but even though it is it's constantly rotating uh, this way so um, the size grow neg negative 0 0.9 um, the highest you can go is 0 0.99 but they get small way too fast and you can't actually see it when it's not selected and the flames hide it so it doesn't really look good you gotta keep it at 0 0.9 uh, this again just gives it just enough time to dissolve and it looks realistic so force you're gonna have um, one on the y-axis and the stretch particles it is set on stretch and the length is five the max particle size for um, if you don't know uh, this basically says to the camera how big the particle can get when the camera 
is so whatever distance from it. So basically, if I zoom in on it, um, they will shrink. Actually, they will grow because their size is 0 0.06. Um, but this is 0.25. If I zoom into this, they, these flames, as you can see, they get smaller and they push out of the way. The way to fix that is um, go to the top and see the max size. This is 2. If you change the max particle size to 2 and you zoom into it, it actually will not shrink and you won't be able to notice. It just pushes out of the way. This um, helps whenever you're like walking through steam or walking through fire or any effect. It just helps it um, stay looking realistic. Uh, same with this light flame. They, I don't think they shrink actually. That looks really nice. But I'll change it to 1.5. Always change the max particle size to the uh, max size that you have at the top. All right, and that should be it for the particles. Um, we only have a few things left, so let's finish that. I'll take these out, though. All right. Okay, the next thing we're going to be working on is the smoke. Uh, this is the second to last piece of our campfire. The last one will be the light, and that is going to be uh, a very quick step. So let's get this one done. Um, basically, um, if you've made a smoke effect before, you know, this isn't anything special. This is just a slow rising smoke effect. Uh, we're going to change the uh, the minimal size to 1.5 and the max to 2. We, uh, we are going to keep the energy at 5 because it has to last for a little while. Um, the minimal emission and the max emission, 15 and 25. Uh, we're going to keep it at that. Um, the local velocity has to be 1. This is the actual rising and it rises at a perfect speed. Um, by the way, if you ever if you have wind in your game, you can also, you know, make it start shifting other directions in the fire, you know. You can you can change it. All right. This has to be at 0 0.4, 0 0.1 and 0.4. Uh, this has to be simulating a world space and we're going to put random rotation that will about <laughs> finish the uh, whole effect. And that should be it. So that's it for the smoke. Let's do the last part, which is the, uh, the light. And let's import the light. So game object create other uh, point light. And we are going to make the range. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it at 10. Uh, let's make the intensity 0 0.7 or just 0.7. And the color, again, I have a preset color. Just cop copy the coordinates here. All right, and now uh, you can do shadows if you want. I am not using a pro version of Unity, so it won't show up for me. But you can still set it. And uh, no flare, no halo, um, light mapping. Yeah, we're gonna keep that automatic, um, because that isn't exactly important. When it's a campfire, if you have multiple of these, you don't want to slow down the game, so you don't want to keep it exactly real time. Uh, but you're gonna have to. Uh, you have to be strategic about how you do that and how you use the uh, lights because if you add too many lights to the scene the game will slow down and it doesn't matter what computer you're running on uh, Unity cannot take a certain amount of lights so it's not a computer issue it's a software issue sometimes it's the computer but um, in the uh, situation involving lights it's the program so be careful about that we need to add an animation so we're going to go window animation and we are going to create a new one and we're going to call this the flicker or just campfire flicker all right and we're going to open up the light tab and intensity at zero you are going to add a key and hmm, let's say at 0 0.05 we're going to change it to 0.5 and then we are going to set the options on ping pong which basically uh, makes the light reverse and then go forward and then backwards and then forward so it plays the animation and then it just reverses the animation and keeps going back and forth like a ping pong ball yeah, so we're going to name this the uh, um, let's name it the flame light and you know what let's 
go back to the animation one second every split second every millisecond does matter so we're going to change it to 0 0.06 or 0 0.7 it just makes it a little bit slower and less like a glitch and more like a fire flicker so that is all the pieces so let's move the sparks into the flame let's move the light flame in there let's move the smoke rise it up a little bit make it start at the top and then the light goes here and now let's uh, create an empty game object we're gonna call this camp fire new and we're going to select everything not the camera but we're going to um, make it a child object to the campfire new and there we go all right everybody that is the campfire effect I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, please comment and subscribe and just uh, send in your suggestions because I love doing this tutorial for you guys and um, if you guys need help with these particle effects just you know send me a message I will try to respond as soon as possible, and good luck.